Blend 11, that's our best seller by far. Um, just, it's our first product and it helps so many people with um, gut issues. Kind of like a breakfast cereal, more like a birch and muesli in that you soak it overnight. So basically, when you soak seeds, they think, oh, it's rained, let's start growing. So when you soak them, it makes them weaker so your digestive juices and everything can break them down a lot quicker and easier. And also it means that they're not gonna suck moisture out of your digestive system on the way through, because they do suck and absorb a lot of moisture into themselves. That's why it's better to eat them hydrated rather than dry. You wouldn't eat it by itself. Normally you'd put it with fruit or with yogurt or in a smoothie, or you can put it on top of your oats. You know, if you do porridge in winter, beautiful to increase the protein, good fats and fibre. It's a blend of um, mostly seeds, but it's got um, almond flakes, goji berries, cacao nibs, um, coconut. So it's really low in carbs, high in plant protein, lots of good fats. Um, it's gluten free, great for your gut health. But basically it's a really diverse fibre, so it helps to feed and encourage a diverse gut microbiome because that's what your gut bugs or your good gut bugs need to survive and thrive is lots and lots of um, plant cell walls, which is just different types of fibre from plant foods. It's also low FODMAP certified as well, so low FODMAP. FODMAPs are just different types of carbohydrates found in all kinds of foods, but they ferment really rapidly um, and they cause a lot of bloating and gut discomfort and they can cause irregularity and IBS type symptoms in sensitive people. So what the Monash University has found with their research is if people with IBS um, lower their intake of FODMAPs then that can help to control their symptoms and to manage that. So this blend has the diverse fibre needed to support healthy gut microbial population in the bowel but it's low FODMAP so that just means it's well tolerated. Um, this is basically a whole book full of a heap of testimonials just from people who've written in via email, um, a lot of Facebook reviews so you can have a read of those as well. So the most exciting thing is um, that the research on gut microbial fermentation and how that impacts loads and loads of health, health, um, health metrics. So you know your gut and your brain, how they're so connected, mental, emotional stuff like depression, anxiety. It's fascinating to me how we can influence lots and lots of health outcomes just by changing what goes into our mouth and what gets into our gut for our gut microbes to, to, to eat and to ferment and to create byproducts from. So the research we've done with the CSIRO, that shows that Blend 11 does help to feed and support the growth of our butyrate producing gut microbes. So butyrate's a beautiful short chain fatty acid that's produced as a byproduct of fibre being broken down in our gut. And it's anti-inflammatory, it helps with um, keeping that gut lining functioning well, it helps to switch off the growth of um, you know, precancerous cells and helps to normalise the growth of those cells in the gut. So butyrate's a, a really nice thing to have our gut bacteria producing all the time for us. To have that knowledge now from the testing, it just validates that yes, there is a scientific, um, a scientific explanation for the whole best poos ever effect. So we've had you know, six and a half years now worth of feedback from customers at the markets. We get to speak to them every week and it's described as life changing all the time. So we get phone calls, emails, um, people coming up to us at the markets just explaining how the product has changed their lives. People send it overseas to their, you know, family and relatives because they've come to rely on it and now we have a, a bit of an understanding and a bit of scientific backing to say, to explain how it's actually working in the body. Blend 11 is actually keto friendly. It just means it's really low in carbohydrates, really low in sugars. It's perfect for someone following the keto diet but wanting to still feed their gut microbiome with loads of diverse fiber. So that's a really important thing. If you're following keto, don't neglect your gut bacteria because they need that fermentable fiber which is found in uh, all your plant foods. And a lot of the time you'll find your plant foods have also got your carbs, but Blend 11 is really high in the fibres without so much of the carbohydrate.